Friday marked the end of a food stamp extension dating back to the Great Recession. Most adults now have to either actively seek employment or find a job in order to receive SNAP benefits, most commonly known as food stamps. But as Cronkite News reporter Audrey Wheel reports, with so many exceptions and employment qualifications, it's unclear exactly who will be affected and how. We're not allowed to film on the property of this food stamp office, but we did speak to some SNAP recipients outside who said they had no idea these changes were happening, as well as one woman who did receive notice that her benefits would be cut. By the time you pay your rent, the bills, and all that good stuff, you have nothing left to buy food. Shannon Govan found out today that her SNAP benefits were officially cut. She's one of an estimated 21,000 in Maricopa County who received notice of the changes beginning in January. The cuts only apply to able-bodied adults who don't meet certain exemptions, like having dependents, being disabled, going to school, or living in chronic homelessness. But the list extends even beyond that, and recipients must prove their exemption to qualify. I'm a full-time home caregiver for my mom. So in that process, I do qualify for the program. I got to get notices and letter and stuff from her doctor stating that, you know, that I am her caregiver. And if she can't get an exemption that way. Well, I'm trying to push it to, to where they would start paying me to take care of my mom and then I wouldn't need food stamps. Because without an exemption, SNAP recipients must be actively seeking employment, volunteering at a qualified location, seeking workforce development training, or working. It's a lot to take in for those whose benefits haven't been tied to employment status for the past several years. But the Department of Economic Security says these requirements revert back to those in place prior to the recession because Arizona's economy has improved since then. But I think this is definitely more of a stick than a carrot. If we were serious about getting people jobs, we would guarantee them a job work uh, either a work slot or an opportunity for training or some volunteer activities that they could participate in. DES is hoping its initiatives like Arizona at Work can do that. We simply look to these men and women who are able-bodied, who have no family to support, to seek work, to train up for work, and, you know, hopefully get work. But Govan says it's not that simple and that those who are supposed to be helping with any confusion or transition assistance have not been helpful. This is my third runaround, the third office I've been to. It's all a waste of time, basically, because I still, I didn't get no information. The cuts are happening in waves in counties where the unemployment rate is lower than the national average. Maricopa County was the first, followed by Pima County in July and Yavapai County in October. In Phoenix, Audrey Wheel, Cronkite News.